Everyone who knows me knows that I love and that my passion is Shaolin. But before I start, I want to share with you some history, philosophy, and some details of Shaolin Kung Fu. Shaolin is a martial art practiced by Buddhist monks from China. At first, the Shaolin monks would meditate in the floor, repeating sutras. And Shaolin is not like, is not like in other exercises, that he only focus in one thing or in two. In Shaolin, we focus in a lot of things, like technique, flexibility, and gymnastics. So this is really important to have it in training and even to be able to win a combat. At first, the Shell monks would meditate in the floor, repeating sutras, and they didn't did any exercises at all. So one day, an Indian monk called Damu brought a kind of action meditation that is what we know as Shaolin and Qigong. And something very important to know when you are enrolled in this uh, martial art or Chinese culture is the philosophy of the yin and yang. Probably some of you had heard something about it. So yin and yang are the two opposites of everything for example, the yin will be the night and yang will be the day. And it's really important to maintain a balance in whatever you're doing, in training, in life, in whatever you're doing, always maintain a balance. For example, it's not only about training and training and training. You also have to rest to maintain a balance. So this is really important to have it in anything you do. But for me, all started with the thing that my mom did, Tai Chi, that is also a martial art. At first, I imitated all the movements that my mom did from Tai Chi. And I did other exercises and activities. But somehow, I always had this background of martial arts and Chinese culture. And one day I got bored of all these activities. So I said to my mom, okay, I want to try Tai Chi for real. So I contacted this master and I went to classes for about a, an year. But at some point I got tired. And that wasn't the thing that I was looking for. So a friend of my dad told him that I should um, do Shaolin. So we contacted the master, and from the moment that he came to my house, time started to fly away. And these are really cool things that happen to me a lot in training. For example, I can train six hours, and I felt that I trained two. So when I'm training, Technically, I don't feel time. So I had trained like a an year and a half or something like that. And a, a turning point in my life happened. So I was eating with my family and my mom said, okay, you need to do something for the summer. And then my dad said, I want you to go to a military camp. So the first thing that I said was simply no. <laughs> so if I'm going to do something for the summer, I'm going to do something that I like. So without knowing that a shelling camp in the US exists, I went to a computer and searched for shelling camp USA. So I, it went right into the page and I, discovered a new master in the US that his name is Xiang Ming that in Mandarin master is Shifu. So Shifu Xiang Ming, he's a real Shaolin monk. So he's a open door to this martial art and a great privilege to have him here in America. So 
Before I start with my shell forms, you may ask yourself, why do we punch at the air? Or, or why, why do we do these movements? So we do it first because it's a traditional way of learning them. Second, to learn the application of the movements. And third, to maintain a, the perfection of the movements. So the first form that I'm going to do, I learned it with uh, Shifu, Shi Yang Ming, in the, in the uh, Shaolin camp in the United States. The second one is the one that I performed to my master here in Guatemala in my test. So before I continue, I really want to thank my master of Shaolin. He's not here, but uh, I want to thank him a lot of teaching me all the things that he knows and I know. And he has been a great master to me. So the third shell uh, form that I'm going to do is one that I learned in a retire in Mexico with the same master, Xiang Ming. This form is a little bit different and to me too because uh, I learned weapons. So this uh, was a whole new experience to me. So I hope you enjoy the forms. Thank you. <laughs> 